thought I would do a brief video on how to set up OBS as a Fraps replacement. I won't be going into any use of streaming or whatever. And I will specifically be talking about using this to Fraps um, World of Warcraft. And there you can see my sluttiest warlock ever. Um, when you first get it, it's really kind of non-intuitive as to how to make it work. But we'll go into settings and go straight to encoding. When you get it, it probably looks like this. Remove the constant bitrate flag. You do not want constant bitrate. You want to make sure your quality is at 10. Again, because we're focused on sending this to the hard drive and not onto the internet, because fuck them. Um, and you want to have your bitrate a lot higher than what the default is. I believe the default is like a thousand. Uh, if you're going to be streaming, or if you're going to be YouTubing 1080p footage, YouTube says, hey, why don't you do 8K, uh, 8 megs per second? And um, I guess that's fine. Because my desktop is at 25 by 14, I have 1600, which is really only half of what it should be. But this is, this is fine. Um, Primarily because if stuff gets too busy, then it will spike up the data rate, um, which is fine. Do not tick custom buffer size. You generally want that for internet congestion, and there's no internet here. Your audio encoding format, you can have to whatever you like. I suggest 192. You could have it at 320, but no one can hear 320, and if they can, they either have like genetic defects to give them super ears, or they're lying. Um, and then for format, I probably go with 48, but you can do 44.1. It's it's fine. When you come in here, this says live stream, and it says blah blah blah, and fuck that. So tick live stream and go to file output only, and it's much simpler. These are your streaming hotkeys, um, which you should know about if you're using Fraps. If not, it's just the key combination that you will use to start recording with and your file path. Notice I have three hard drives. Um, there's my Windows slash World of Warcraft drive, and then there's my Steam games drive, and then there's the drive that I fraps onto. And I even gave it its own little handy uh, directory even for OBS. And one thing I wanted to point out here is that notice that the file name is OBS1, and yet there are OBS1.1, two, and three. That's because I've recorded successive files just to show you, hey, um, it will, it, you can use the same name and it'll just make a new one with that exact same name, which is incredibly unhelpful. Uh, in Fraps, I know exactly what I was doing, what was going on, um, and it's just handier. WoW can, has a Fraps codec installed when you install Fraps, which is why this works. Uh, Windows has this installed, sorry, not WoW. Um, but the X264 doesn't get installed by default unless you have anything QuickTime installed, so you don't get the nice video preview. But the file names are what I wanted to get at here. Um, and also, just to differentiate between file sizes, in a brief aside, this is not look, let's not look at that one. This is a 10 minute file, and this 10 minute file is 100 megs. I'm rounding a lot. So, um, yeah, that 100 meg file is the old video that I was going to use for this, but I decided I didn't like it. And it's taking a while to load it because I'm writing wow in the background. I thought I would do a but video. Uh, this is at 25 by 14. You, it gets scaled down because the, it won't fit on here. But this is fairly decent film, uh, not film, but video quality, and it's at 25 by 14. So it, it will produce decent video. Um, here, let's see, I have this 11 minute video, and this 11 minute video is 85 megs. I'm sorry, 85 gigs, not 85 megs. So there is the advantage if you have a small hard drive that this will do the compression on the fly, which is why a lot of people want to use it. And it's free. For your video settings, your video adapter is your video card. Um, this is your processor 
more than likely. Um, and this is your actual video card. If you use custom, make sure that it is set to your monitor's base resolution. If you have more than one, one, uh, more than one monitor, um, good for you. But this is the one that will record off. Because you're doing to the hard drive, I would not suggest that you downscale. Just don't. And by frapsing at 60 frames per second as opposed to 30, this lets you do um, slow down more smoothly in a video editing software. Because when you upload to YouTube, you're only ever uploading at 30 frames per second. So by having 60 frames to choose from, if you want to do slow down of only you know half speed, you still have each and every frame there, and there's no interpolation that needs to be done, and you get better video quality. Audio, <clears throat> I encourage you to use default, because if you ever want to use your headphones to play the game, um, you just go in here to your audio settings, and hey, pick it there, and it'll follow along. If you want to record microphone stuff along with that, you can do that. I don't know if I encourage it. It appears to downmix your microphone along with game audio, which is not a practice I approve of, because sometimes I burp or fart or, you know, have a brief Tourette syndrome or need to yell at my rats for getting into the cereal or whatnot. And you don't need to hear that. So, so take what you will from that. Now, the advanced, this is where it's important. Always use multi-threaded op optimizations. Leave process class at normal. If you have it at high, your game won't play. If you have it at idle, you won't record anything. I'm exaggerating, but that's essentially what it boils down to. Your video preset, as I said, that this will compress the videos as it puts it onto your hard drive using the X264 codec, which is great. I mean, um, that's not a sarcastic. I mean, it really is a great codec. Uh, it's also open source, so it has that going for it. And the CPU preset, you probably want to leave it very fast. If you have like some enormous really high-end computer, or this is very far flung into the future, you could probably use something higher than that better. But in general, you don't want to be eating up your CPU while playing a game. So very fast is fine. You might even want to lower it to either super or ultra. Test it out on your own game system to see how it works. Now, have CFR ticked. That's very important. One more thing. Do not ever put into the custom X264 settings CRF equals zero. You'll think, oh wow, this is lossless. It must be better. No, it's not. It will fail. If you want to play it, your frames will be all crapped up because there will be too much data there. Furthermore, if you try to ingest it in pre into Premiere or whatever else you're using to edit your video with, dude, it's just not going to happen. So don't. Just don't. Just don't do it. Now, that's the settings. For this blank screen here, when you look at it and you go, oh my god, what the hell is this crap? Um, these are both empty, and who knows what's going on there. So these scenes are literally the video scenes that you're going to be capturing and recording. You can have a variety of them if you want to be able to switch to them so that you can have different layouts. That's generally for streaming. Um, other stuff that you're that you're going to be uploading later, you probably do in processing, but uh, you can mess with that in Premiere or Vegas or whatever you're using. Now, um, I'm going to recreate the profile that I had before, and I'm also now going to explain why you needed to have World of Warcraft running or whatever game you chose before you got to this part. When you create your scene, it has no sources. You need to add a source, and that source is going to be Game Capture. And game Capture, it's just call it WoW or Dead Space or whatever game you're recording. And notice here in the application, WoW64, this is the name of the executable that's running. Also, there's Audacity in Chrome and Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro which is there just because I have that in previous videos I decided were crap. So, so you need WoW running. If you hadn't had it running already, run it now and you can click refresh. Like for example, I could go in here and uh, here, I'll run Internet Explorer. And now when I click, it, there's nothing here, I click refresh. 
and all of a sudden Internet Explorer pops up and, and that's awesome and lovely. And you can even go back and close it now and it's still there. Uh, the reason why WoW isn't closed is because I'm lazy. So capture your mouse cursor if you're doing something with a mouse cursor like WoW. If you're doing Dead Space, still do it. Um, do not ever invert cursor on click because that's annoying as fuck. If you don't believe me, please try it and you'll see what happens. So now it's set up here. Um, and if I preview the stream, notice there's the Slotty's Horlock ever. And, you know, that is exactly. Um, oh, it crashed. Well, that's convenient. Um, OBS tends to do that when it streams, which is one of the many problems I have with it. But it is now set up, and you could I could rerun WoW and start streaming from there or use the hotkey to begin it. One of the things, one of the many things I dislike about OBS is that with fraps, you can have to seat of the pants set up. Like, like just, I pick up some new game and like, damn, I'm going to fraps this shit. And I'm in the middle of gameplay and boom, I fraps. Whereas with OBS, there's a lot of setup and thought involved. That's probably because this is more focused towards streaming rather than um, just seat of the pants stuff. So if you're streaming, you want to have all kinds of nifty things set up. Um, so there's that. And wow, this has gone on for 12 minutes already. Shit. So I hope that this was helpful because cause this is really long. If I can figure out a way to come up with a shorter video where I don't explain every freaking thing, I'll probably do that and just upload it on top of this.